NXT The Game Season 2 Episode 100 until this is NXT Rage. Uh, obviously the last event was the breaking news segment and before that was Resistance and before that the last time you saw Rage Brand, which was only two episodes ago, was NXT TakeOver Rage. Let's get straight into the action tonight because it is a very Mike Talks A Lot uh, episode as we're setting up some other angles heading in towards because now there's no more uh, TakeOver specials for Rage heading into uh, NXT TakeOver Legacy which is our WrestleMania. So yeah, let's get straight into it, guys. This is going to be a very fun show. We kind of put together a segment uh, that I think that's going to be kind of fun. All right, uh, show. The camera picks up as Bobby Roode, which gets an uproarious reaction from the crowd as he's walking into the arena with the NXT Heavyweight Championship draped on his shoulder. Bobby Roode shakes the hands of a few maintenance workers. Out from nowhere, though, comes Nick Magnus, attacking Bobby Roode and tossing him into the rolling truck door. Bobby Roode looks up at Magnus, who's laying the wingtips of his shoes into the side of Bobby Roode's head and doesn't stop until the officials walk up, streaming at Magnus to stop. Magnus bends over, picking up the NXT Heavyweight Championship and looks at William Regal, who walks up, screaming at Magnus and asks him what on earth he thinks he's doing. Magnus goes to walk off with the championship, but William Regal stops him, grabs the championship back as the Findles tend to Bobby Roode. Magnus smirks, and we fade into the opening credits for... NXT. So the Remember Me storyline has advanced. 87B+. Plus. Obviously, Bobby Roode defeated Nick Magnus at NXT TakeOver Rage, and the program storyline is continuing as of now. Next up, Tom Phillips, Nigel McGinnis, and Byron Saxon were shown on screen, shocked at what just occurred. Phillips reminded the NXT audience that, clearly, based on what we just saw, Bobby Roode retained against Nick Miller at TakeOver Rage. However, the fans now stop listening to Tom Phillips, who stops talking as well, and begin to cheer as Bobby Roode stumbling comes out of the backstage area, where we'll where we see Commissioner William Regal is just a few steps behind him in tow as Bobby Roode heads over to the announce booth and grabs a microphone that's sitting at the desk. Roode, into the microphone, calls out Magnus. He says that if last Saturday at NXT TakeOver wasn't enough, get your ass out here and I'll serve you another dish of whoop-ass. Regal grabs Bobby Roode off mic and Magnus, while being held back, is trying to get to Bobby Roode. Magnus is screaming to put the title on the line and Roode is responding, You want some? Come get some! Regal into the microphone says he will not get pushed in to make a title match, but if they want to fight, whatever, fine by him. Let's have a match. So we're booking uh, Bobby Roode and Nick Magnus right now. They're having a match. Championship not on the line. 85B+. Plus. Magnus was underwhelming. That's okay. His overness isn't great. 85B+. Plus, so let's see what Magnus and Bobby Roode can put forth into a match. And about that fantastic heat and great wrestling, Nick Magnus defeats Bobby Roode in 733 with a tormentum. Nick Magnus pins the NXT Heavyweight Champion clean in the middle of the ring. 77 for Rude, 64 for Magnus. We've lost heat with the promo and the segment. That's okay. 66 C+. The bell sounds and a shocking gasp is let out as Nick Magnus has just cleanly pinned Bobby Rude in the center of the ring. Magnus sitting up and smirking into the hard camera. Magnus moves to the referee and demands his arm be raised and upon doing so begins to scream at Bobby Rude that he deserves a championship opportunity right now. William Regal, who spent the match on commentary, has shown Magnus having defeated the NXT Heavyweight Championship clean tonight. 1 2 3 has just thrown a monkey wrench into whatever plans William Regal may have had. So, yeah, Regal was good here. Bobby Roode was good. We've advanced the Remember Me storyline. No skill improvements again, but at 81B, Roode and Magnus continuing their program right now as we head towards NXT TakeOver Legacy. All right, next up, in an extremely short match, Aleister Black defeats Steve Cutler in 356 with the Awari Death Foot Stomp. As planned, the match brought the fans down a little, which was intended. 74 for Black, 35 for Cutler. So still a pretty good rating. No skill improvements, which is unfortunate. 56 C minus, though. All right. Next up, the camera having faded backstage shows Will Ospreay in the back as he's getting ready for his upcoming match later in the evening when he tag teams with the Velveteen Dream. The fans boo as the Velveteen Dream walks up and introduces himself officially to Will Ospreay. The Dream tells Ospreay he's been watching him from afar and lets him know that he's been looking for a tag team partner for quite some time and he thinks that the aerial assassin says the Dream longing 
and laying on the word ass, which causes Osprey to stop the dream. Osprey says he's not quite sure what he's up to, but he doesn't appreciate being pigeonholed into tag team matches with people that not only do not know who he is, but appears to have an alternative motive. Osprey excuses himself as their match is next. The camera sits on Dream for a moment as he bites his bottom lip, watching Osprey walk away, then follows him out. The Dreaming of Flight storyline has advanced and gained heat. No skill improvements, that's unfortunate. Osprey doesn't have a lot of on 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 camera skills, so we're gonna try to work on that. The Dream is pretty strong in that category, so hopefully he can rub off and they can rub off together in the ring as well. 68 C plus. And about that had decent wrestling though, but didn't have much heat. Will Ospreay in the Velveteen Dream defeat Sabatelli and Moss in 728 when Will Ospreay defeated Blue Dick Moss by pinfall with a 630 splash. 53 for Velveteen Dream, 55 for Ospreay, 36 and 43 for Moss and Sabatelli. We've lost a little bit of heat in the storyline, that's okay. And there's no skill improvements again. Unfortunate, but I will take it. 51, what is this? This is a, yeah, we're going to go ahead and change this gimmick. All right, well, whatever. 51 D+. plus. Tino Sabatelli, your gimmick change failed. That's all right. 51D+. Plus. The bell sounds now. Will Osprey picking up the victory? The Velveteen Dream walks up and gives Osprey a huge hug in which Osprey pulls away quickly, instantly sliding out of the ring and walking up the ramp, doing his best to get away from the Dream. It's kind of freaking him out a little bit, guys. The Dream has his arms raised by the referee, really enjoying it, as the team of Will Osprey and the Velveteen Dream get the win tonight. Let me know what you guys think of the Will Osprey and Velveteen Dream pairing. I kind of like it. We started out before the last TakeOver Rage, obviously, with... The splits and stuff. We're not going to be able to get everyone on every single show. But, you know, I, I kind of like the Will Ospreay and Velveteen Dream thing. Neither one of which we're going to be pushed for, uh, you know, main event right now. So I thought this was a good way to get them in a program working with one another. And to go ahead and book another solid tag team. Because while tag team wrestling is my favorite type of wrestling in the entire professional wrestling world. With the splitting of the rosters, we do need to get more tag teams uh, built up. So I think Ospreay and Velveteen Dream could be fun. 76 B-. minus. Next up, the camera finds William Regal in the back as Bobby Roode walks in and drops his NXT Heavyweight Championship on the desk while holding his neck. William Regal is not happy and raises his voice to Bobby Roode. William Regal says that Bobby, while he's been a fighting champion since he's been champion, a champion that he appreciates as one of the faces of the brand NXT, they both knew. And I, for the record, says William Regal knew that fighting tonight was not a great idea. Rude goes into it about how Magnus has been the thorn in his side from years back to TNA, but didn't say TNA, and cannot believe he didn't see it coming tonight. He feels ashamed. He doesn't like to admit it when he's wrong, but Magnus tweaked his neck from the attack earlier in the evening, and admittedly, he shouldn't have wrestled Regal. You were right. Regal says that's all well and good now, but his temper has gotten him, and he means himself, into predicting it more than once. He says that Magnus already stopped by and made a great case to get another shot at NXT Championship Championship, and he's going to give it to him next week. So Bobby Roode isn't necessarily happy here, guys, that Nick Magnus is going to get another shot at his championship, but Nick Magnus, again, while having lost at NXT TakeOver Rage, has absolutely tricked and poked and prodded Bobby Roode into giving him another championship opportunity. Magnus injured him earlier in the evening, and as such, has just guaranteed himself an opportunity with a clean pinfall tonight. So no skill improvements, but at 87B+, plus, Rude, Magnus, and Ang uh, Regal are really all working together really well, which is fantastic. Next up, the camera finds Tommaso Ciampa in the back, warming up for his main event match tonight against Cassius Ono, the man who defeated Sami Zayn at NXT TakeOver Rage as Sami Zayn walks up and apologizes for overreacting at TakeOver Rage while he was looking for his support. Ciampa says he understands that Zayn ran into issues with the Office of the Pain after he ran into him in the back, and maybe he should have been there. They did cost him his match after all. They both nod and agree, admitting fault together. Champa says that it, as it relates to the author of the pain, he has his back, 100%. Zayn says that's great and a show of respect and trust tonight, noting both and agreeing that Gargano was the common thread between the two of them. He'll quarter him tonight, that is, Sami Zayn cornering Tommaso Champa as he takes on Cassius Ono, again the guy Sami Zayn lost to. The two shake hands, smirk, and are on the same page for tonight. So Champa and Zayn work great tonight. That's great. No skill improvements again. 82B. But Champa and Zayn are on the same page. House NXT. Two thirds of House NXT are on the same page, which is great. Because they're my two most overworkers on the brand. And that's exactly what we need to keep doing. 82B. Next, we see Sasha Banks walking in the back and on her way to the ring. The Transform Boss is in action next. Sasha Banks came across well. And his boss time storyline has advanced. But uh, lost heat. That's unfortunate. 63C, Sasha, um, you know, we've been waiting to tell her hill for a while, and we're in a spot now where, obviously, clearly, we're building up to Sasha Bailey at Legacy, and we're going to get there soon. So we're going to keep working that angle right now, though. 63C. And in an extremely short match, Sasha Banks defeats Santana Garrett in 505 with a bank statement. No psychology, which is unfortunate, but a 67 and 82 in a Diva Base Brawl match. 71C+, plus, no skill improvements in this five-minute match, which was unfortunate. 
But that's all right. I don't think we're going long enough on our matches to get skill improvements. However, we're, you know, we only got an hour and a half on TV, so we can't go necessarily long on TV. So most of our skill improvements will be coming on takeovers. 71, C+, plus though, for the match between Garrett and Banks. Banks getting the victory. Next week, we will see on NXT, Drew McIntyre, 87B+, plus, and also next week, that Elbing Dynasty will be here. 78B, uh, Gaza Razor needs a gimmick change, no skill improvements. The next chapter has advanced. 78B. The camera shows us Nick Magnus in the back now, fully dressed and suited. It pans to Kathy Kelly with a microphone in the back. Kathy Kelly says that earlier in the evening, Nick, you attacked the NXT heavyweight champion, weakening him, Bobby Roode. You got him to face you moments after you injured him earlier and defeated him. And now, next week, you'll face him for the NXT heavyweight championship. Kathy Kelly goes to keep talking, but is stopped. Magnus cuts off Kathy instantly and tells her he agrees. He's the smartest man in the room. He always has been, always will be. He's cut off. Magnus is stopped short as Bobby Roode this time has to tag Magnus from the back and sending him spearing basically Kathy Kelly who takes a crazy bump. And the attack on Magnus that was sure to happen is stopped immediately by Roode who looks down to Kathy Kelly who's to be out cold. The camera shows Magnus in the back looking around before running off and Bobby at the feet of Kathy for maybe 10 seconds which I'm sure felt like minutes to him. Regal and staff show up and Regal is fuming at Bobby Roode. Bobby Roode going to return the favor to Nick Magnus that Nick t <clears throat> gave to him earlier in the heat with a beatdown, but accidentally shoved him into Kathy Kelly, who is out cold. William Regal comes back after having talked to Bobby Roode about his anger issues earlier in the evening. His anger issues has just laid out Kathy Kelly. Nick Magnus has escaped. They have a match next week, and William Regal is not happy. We've advanced and gained in the storyline 85B+. Wow. Now let's head to our main event between Cassius Sono and Tommaso Ciampa. All right. And about that had fantastic heat and great wrestling, Cassius Ono defeats Tommaso Ciampa by pinfall with a rolling elbow after Sami Zayn accidentally distracted Tommaso Ciampa after showing his support. I don't know whether it didn't show up in the road agent notes. That's unfortunate. But I definitely said a note where Sami Zayn would accidentally distract Tommaso Ciampa. So we're going to get to that after the segment, because after this match because there's another segment that relates to it. This match got the crowd buzzing. 91-58 here. No skill improvements to uh, include on. I'm sure Cassius Ono was given a negative because of his declining physical ability. 77B here. All right, the bell sounds and sounds as Sami Zayn has just accidentally cost Tommaso Ciampa champ of the match against Cassius Ono. Legit accidentally, though. Remember, they were on the same page as earlier tonight. As Ciampa seems furious at Sami Zayn now, but is notably trying to self-police and calm himself down after the good conversation they had earlier. Breathing exercise seem to be working as Champa is calming down as Sami Zayn walks around apologizing over and over again, which Champa's trying to, you know, forgive him for. And he was promising that he was just trying to show support, given what happened at NXT Take Over Rage with the Office of Pain. And NXT will end this week with Cassius Ono continuing on his path of aggression. Ooh, look at this. He invented a new catchphrase. That's great. Last segment of the show, as NXT is fading out for the week, the cameras take one last look in the backstage area, this time with William Regal and Bobby Roode watching precautiously as precautions are being taken. Kathy Kelly is being put into an ambulance, taken to a local medical facility. As the door slams shut, Regal looks at Bobby Roode out of the corner of his eye, only as he can. Roode knows he's fucked up. We fade out, watching the ambulance pull away. 74 B-, minus. we've lost heat. But a huge night for Bobby Roode, Nick Magnus, William Regal with the insertion of Kathy Kelly into the storyline. Huge night for them. A huge night for the Dream and Osprey and another huge night for Ciampa and Sami Zayn. And of course, Ono, who's beaten two-thirds of NXT in a you know, couple nights. Hopefully we get an 80 here. Hoping for an 80. 81. Absolutely great. Thrilled with that rating. This show has increased our popularity in 45 regions and we've set up a lot of good stuff heading towards Legacy. This was NXT The Game Season 2, Episode 102, excuse me, Episode 112, NXT TakeOver Rage. Thanks for watching, everyone, and have a glorious rest of your day. I'm going to go ahead and end the video here and push us over to January 2019. Thanks for watching.